Good morning, my jewels. Welcome back to another video. I am Sapphire. Today is Thursday, April 6th, and it is about a quarter to seven. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So as you see by the title, I'm going to share with you all the products that I used up in my hair care. And then after that, I wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys. Um, moving forward, as far as my hair care, my routine, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that in products. So, you know, back in previous videos, I had discussed that um, if there are any changes in my hair care or even new products that you guys would be the second to know yes you would be the second to know so um, moving forward there's some things I wanted to do differently um, in my hair care um, so if you're interested I want you to meet me back at our home in a few more hours okay thank you everybody i am back at home and thank you guys so much those of you who are here thank you so much for joining me today so today as i mentioned earlier i'm going to show you everything that i used in my hair care that is gone some i will bring back some i will not bring back in my hair care i also want to talk a little bit about uh, my relaxers moving forward you know changing the routines in that one and how i use products okay so let's get started so I am done with these. Um, I had three packs. I got them um, on Amazon. You already know I got a three pack and they're gone. They are a little pricey for me. Um, I didn't mind if it was bigger, like a bigger bottle or a tub, but it's not. It's just 13 fluid ounce and that's too small. So yeah, but it's gone and I have a half full one upstairs and a full one of this, the Grow Strong. Um, one of them is already gone. Um, these, you've never seen this before because I use this on our granddaughter's hair whenever they spend the night. Um, this is the main choice, um, prickly, prickly pear paradise leave-in conditioner cream. Now I like to use this on their hair because they got that, that wavy hair like I used to have. And this really works on their hair. I use this. I was using this on their hair. It did take um, to their hair as well, but it didn't work as good as this right here. This did leave their hair soft. It lasted in their hair, but it didn't last in my hair. It didn't last in my hair. It only lasted in my hair for a couple of days, so I would not be bringing this back. I gave one to Benjamin, and I kept the other one because it was already open, and I used it in their hair. So this right here is their... Um, their leave-in, their moisturizer, whatever, whenever they spend the night over here. So I will be picking up another one of these. And also my avocado, one of them are already gone. I love this stuff. This is the avocado oil. Um, this is the moisturizing hair milk, sorry. Um, this is the avocado oil that I had um, used already in my oil mix. I think I showed this to you guys already. This is gone because it was only a little bit left in here and I just added it to one of the applicator bottles. That's basically it. Um, these are gone, these oils, the apricot, I do have more. I have my daughter pick me up another one of these, the same brand. This is the organic castor oil that I, that I used in my hair. Oh, sorry, y'all. This is the organic, I'm not taping this over. This is the organic castor oil that I used in my hair. It's a little greasy. That's why I fell. <sighs> but anyway, they're gone, but I do have another bottle. This one's gone. I do have another one. So... <laughs> That is good. Y'all, that kind of scared me because my glasses was right here and they fell on the floor. But anyway, I'm not doing this over. I'm moving forward because I got stuff to do. But this is going as well. This is a mild protein treatment that everybody loves to use. I've been using this close to 10 years already. Someone introduced it to me. So this is going as well. I'm going to talk a little bit about this once I'm done. And also... These are gone. I went to find another bottle um, of this. This is a 16 fluid ounce bottle. And I went to find it 
and um, it's gone. I didn't see them, so I will go back this weekend to see if they have it. If not, I probably have to order it or go somewhere and get a bigger a bigger tub or a bigger bottle. I'll probably have to go that route, um, just like a refiller. So I'll do that and just pour it in here. This is gone. I will be picking this back up again. My daughter uses on my hair when, when I go over there to get my relaxer. She always add this to my hair, this leave-in, and then put a little oil on it, and then she'll blow dry and then flat out my hair. My hair. That's I believe that's probably why my hair looks so real silky and stuff because of this, but I will be picking this back up again. So yeah, so moving forward with my hair, okay? What I want to do as far as my relaxers. No, I'm not transitioning, y'all, and I'm not getting I'm not I'm not going back natural. I already had the wavy curly look already, so I just wanted something straight and I still like my hair straight. Okay, even after I wash it and it's dry, it still looks straight. It's not wavy or curly. So I've already had that. Okay, so I'm not going back to that. What I want to do is get my relaxers twice out the year instead of getting it three times out the year. Because the products that I use in my hair, like this, this really works in my hair. I can use it alone and it lasts for a whole week. I don't have to do anything to it. Even when I moisturize and seal, it lasts for a whole entire week. This stuff is amazing and I love it. And I can use it with conditioner and oil and by itself, either way, Either, either way, it lasts in my hair. And I believe I can stretch my relaxers a little longer, okay? Instead of getting them three times out the year, I can get them twice a year, okay? Far as this, you know, this is gone. I have another one. I picked up two of these. I gave one to my daughter. She's going to use it. And then after this is gone, I am not going to be buying these jars anymore. I'm just going to go to the packages because what I'm going to do is stretch my protein treatments further. So I'll be doing a protein treatment every 90 days. I don't think it's necessary for me to do one every other month now because I was doing it on a monthly basis every 30 days and then did it every 60 days so now i'm going to do it every 90 days and as time move on then i'll stretch it out another month okay my hair is healthy my scalp is healthy so it doesn't it doesn't really make sense for me to have um get a protein treatment as often now don't get me wrong we are relaxed and we do need to add that back into our hair the nutrients and the proteins back in our hair, but we're not getting a relaxer every three months. I hope you guys not. We're not getting a relaxer every two months. We're not getting a relaxer every, you know, but you want to use a protein, I believe, before you're a relaxer. So if you relax your hair once a year, then you should use this once a year. If you're relaxing your hair three times out the year, then use it three times out the year. If you're relaxing your hair twice a year, you want to use it twice a year. So you want to use it before you get your relaxer. And then on your, that first wash, you want to use it again. After that, it should be put up. Okay. So like I told y'all before, I've been doing a lot of reading, doing some researches on conditioners, masks, creams, leave-ins, all of that stuff. And my routine is going to change for the better. Okay. And I hope and pray that you guys, you know, do your research and just read some things and it should change for you as well, okay? So, but anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna to finish my meal, I can smell it. I'm gonna finish my meal and Lord's willing, you will see me in the next video. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. God bless you, Mwah. bye.